Eggert shake and bake. He shoots and... Oh, he scores! And the ball is back in play. Dude, you faked me right out of my underwear. Ew. Putting them on Wong was probably a factor. He scores! He scores! He scores! Three-pointer! You really are amazing. You ought to play real b-ball. I do play real b-ball. Real b-ball by Talbendo? You press R1 to harass the coach and get a three-game suspension. What do you mean? I'm out! Actually, I mean real, real basketball. You know, with people and sweat. Do you think? Eggers weaves through the defense. He stops, pops, and scores! An incredible three-pointer, a lucrative shoe contract, and his own hip-hop CD. I'm serious. You've got moves. This joystick, that one. What's the difference? Don't get me wrong. I like pro sports. The jets, the limos, the girls, the money. The girls holding the money in the limos on the jets. But there's stuff I don't like about real sports, like exercise and pain, and having to pretend you actually read books and public service announcements. Yes! I'm out! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Go out for the team. They could use someone who can't accidentally trip over his own feet. Over here! Over here! On the other hand, there's a lot of pressure on an athlete. Pressure? There's no pressure. As long as you don't stink! You guys stink! Why do you care whether our jocks beat their jocks? Yeah, we know we hate our jocks. Like, their jocks might be nice. Well, we want our team to win because, well, because their uniforms are a better color. And the other team's mascot's a pussycat. A wildcat. Ooh, that's scary. Roar, roar. Yeah, right. We've got Beaky the Birdman. Somebody help me! I've been smelling my own face sweat for three hours! <laughs> okay, Beaky's lame. But sports are cool. Not the way boys play them. If the girls, like, had a basketball team, we'd play just for fun. The girls don't have a team? How dare you deny us women our rightful opportunity to dribble! Girls, you're the victim of budget cuts. Sadly, there's not enough money for a girls' team, and this year's Charles Dickens-themed spring musical! <sighs> like, wow! Costumes! Choreography! Cockney accents! It was the best of times! It was the voice of times! Can we focus here? It was a hard decision. Years ago, Alcatraz had a proud tradition of girls' basketball. We also had a proud tradition of holding our hands like this, as if eating a big submarine sandwich. Munch, 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 munch! <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> In those days, the star of the team was Priscilla Elbows Eggert. Whoa, whoa. The hoop was just a peach basket. It was Elbows who executed the first slam dunk. Oh, yeah! Thereby inventing the whole... Oh, oh. <laughs> Glory days, girls! We can't use the gym because it wants to rehearse the musical. So let's just do the musical! And add a few basketballs, hoops, whistles, and a scoreboard! Eggert fix left, a behind-the-back pass, oh yeah, I got skills! 
exciting news. I'm tutoring some underprivileged children who need a responsible father figure right here in our home. Uh, that's great, Dad. Okay. Homeboy's all that with the joystick. Can he take a real ball to the hole? You want a trash talk? Try this. Ow, ow, ow. Dude, watch the nose. Ooh. <laughs> Not bad. Why don't you try out for the team? The school team? They're hopeless. They can't even dunk their own donuts. <laughs> ah, hot! Sorry. Cream? Oh. Plus, the fans are hostile. They'd boo me like they boo everyone else on the team. <clears throat> the day they boo is the day you'll play. What kind of advice is that? I could do better with one of those plastic eight balls. Great, because I need a break. <laughs> the day they boo is the day you'll play. Whatever. <laughs> Before we start, I must say, it's nice to see students so in love with chemistry, they come to class with their favorite atomic numbers written on their shirts. We're just trying to pass a dumb makeup final so we don't get kicked off the dumb team. I see. So you aren't academically needy so much as you are, um... Stupid jocks? We never ever use that word. Sorry. Stupid athletes? Oh, enough thinking, you eggheads. You want to give a brain bruises? Time for a shoot around. Graham, Graham, they have to pass chemistry or they can't play. Ah, don't sweat it. I'll drill them during layups. <laughs> Hydrogen, helium, cis, boom, ba, lithium, beryllium, rah, rah, rah. Oliver Twist? Don't forget when you're being double teamed, you have to pitch up to the open guard. Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, uh, yes, sir. Work on your lines while I go fetch the tale of two cities guillotine. Tis a far, far better thing I do. He's gone. Let's play. Remember, we'll all make mistakes, so let's remain supportive. Not like those silly boys. Good try! Yay for Kelly! She hit something! <gasps> and like one in! Cool! Yeah, if your goal is to make others feel inadequate! Like, sorry. Pelswick. Hey, Julie. Why are you dressed like Dr. Quinn? It's a long story. So, uh, Ace says you're a basketball hotshot. <laughs> you know how Ace exaggerates. I need a full-time personal coach. He doesn't always exaggerate. Sandra's better than me, and it's coming between us. Can you teach me to play as well as her so we can still be friends? Sure, I can do that. I'm like... So much better than Julie, it's coming between us. I want you two to teach me to play worse than her, so we can, like, still be friends. I see her play. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. What made you come to us? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Way to go, Julie. Maybe we should quit here, since we have to be in school in three hours. Thanks. Really. I think I owe you a little something. Oh, yeah. So you can find your way home. Another session before tomorrow's rehearsal? Uh, I mean, practice? If you think the net can stand it. Great. I have to be careful, though. I don't want to get better than Sandra. I think we've got a pretty comfortable buffer zone there. Luke, I am your 
guardian angel. And did I mention? The day they boo is the day you'll play! Welcome to the dark side. What's like first, Oliver? I mean, Kelly. Layups. Sandra? <laughs> Sandra, are you okay? Did it, like, go in? Uh, no. It rolled into the supply cupboard. Then I feel great! I'm just like Julie! Julie! You wouldn't believe what I just did! Oh, yeah? Watch this! <laughs> <laughs> You've become a vain, boastful show-off who makes the rest of us look like garbage. Come on, Sandra. Us girls who play with equal non-competitive awfulness want to buy you a burger. But, but... Thanks a lot, Pelswick. But you asked me to make you good. In a mo' better kind of way. Not that good! <laughs> Personally, I favor abolishing tests and exams, but if you don't pass today's chemistry test, you'll be benched. This pudding tastes weird. You're eating a Petri dish full of slime mold, Einstein. Not bad. So Julie got real good, and now the team's mad at her because they're not trying to be so good so they won't be like the boys who aren't good but want to be good. It's kind of confusing-ish. Pelswick! 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 No, it's Goon Ace Pelswick! Vice Principal Ziegler wants to know if you'll play a key role in tonight's big game. Oh, he does, does he? That's what he was saying. Our team's lousy. They'll boo! I'll play and save the day! Of course I will! Great! He was right. He said your nose would fit perfectly inside the beak. I don't understand. Our last Beaky the Bird had an accident. Are there any eggs you need me to sit on until you recover? Don't look straight into that. You'll go blind. Or, no, wait, was that the sun? Anyway, I got some advice for you. I know. When they boo, you will play. You call this playing? I'm a bird. They're gonna mock me. That'd make you a mockingbird. This looks more like a cardinal. I don't want to be any bird. I thought I'd be on the court. Want the eight ball again? That depends if you're planning on standing within throwing range. I've seen you shoot. I'd have to be pretty close. <clears throat> you will meet a tall, dark wasp. It's for you. Is this thing on? Yes, it's on! Welcome to the final game between the Birdmen of Alcatraz and the Wasps of Gated Community Private School. On a personal note, I hope you'll all turn out next week for our spring musical! Don't you even look at her, Sandra. If she's gonna work hard and excel, she is not worth bothering with. Can we crawl under the bleachers to look for loose change? Don't you want to see your brother in a bird suit? I'd rather play in sticky stuff. And now, our beloved mascot, Beaky the Birdman, will lead us in a cheer! This bites! This bites! This bites! Yeah, yeah, yeah! And here to throw out the ceremonial first elbow is Alcatraz Junior High's own... Oh! up and play some hoop! Yeah! I got next! Where'd Pelswick go? What a move! You're missing a heck of a game! You can't see anything under here but saggy seats and gum stalactites! 
How are you watching the game? On the Future Channel. What? Well, I'm gonna go watch next year's game. Popcorn's fresher in the future. Remember. I know. When they boo, I'll play. I heard him already. Thanks. Look, Bobby. Some primo change dropping butts and your humiliated big brother. Oh, nice try by the big mean triangular boy. Hum the jaunty going in the net song. Going in the net. I'm going in the net. I'm a biggy bouncy ball. I'm going in the net. It's half time, and our boys are down by ten. But they'll be right back. No, they won't. They failed chemistry. They're disqualified. <gasps> Oops. The school's rule is pass or don't play. Time's about to run out on Alcatraz Junior High. In a long, long history of humiliating Alcatraz Junior High sporting events, this baby takes the cake. You know, Sandra, there's no reason for us to argue. I only got better to be more like you. You did? I, like, only got lousy at shooting and passing and dribbling and almost unable to walk to be more like you. Really? Put me in, coach! I'm sorry, Elbows. You can't play. We have no girls' team. Yes, we do. Vice Principal Ziegler. Hello, little bird. South is that way. Fly. Fly to your warm winter haven. Right. Uh, but before we forfeit, can you give me five minutes in the key to the costume room? <laughs> I'm Tickle Pink to announce that the game will continue. But for the second half... Alcatraz will be represented by the high-kicking, fun-singing, smash-hit musical of the year, Little Dickens! Huh? Play this right, boys, and there's soundtrack money in it for all of us. There was only four chemicals then, but I knew them all. Let's play some ball. <gasps> it's the famous urchin chorus line offense. We have great expectations to rise above our stations in this filthy, dirty world of ours. seconds on the clock and two free throws to Alcatraz. We're behind by one point. Yeah! We're pounding them. We're creaming them. <laughs> We've hurt and humiliated them. We've become the same as the boys. Except sweeter smelling with a better offensive rotation. But we did this to make a statement that it's not about winning. It's about having fun and being with friends. <laughs> we have to lose But how? If I like take those last two shots They're going in I've got nothing but net Me too My hands are swish machines If we can't take the shots We all fouled out of the game Don't look at us Walkie and me are on fire <laughs> You passed chemistry? Of course! Have Pelswick take the foul shots! Me? Like, what a wonderful way to say we don't care about winning! Please, Pelswick, could you do it? Hey, excuse me. 
Good game next week. They weren't booing before. They were laughing at me. Uh-huh. Now they're booing. You got it. Now they're booing. I've got to take these shots and lose the game. They're counting on you. What if I throw it and it goes in? Just have faith in yourself, kid. And there's no way you can win. I can do this. chance, folks. Is it overtime, or must I fill this bucket with my salty tears? Come on!